I came across this controversial thread in a conspiracy forum on the internet, discussing an ancient Greek bas relief of unknown authorship, titled, Gravestone with a woman and her attendant, believed to have been carved about 100 BC, and displayed at the J. Paul Getty Museum in Malibu, California, which depicts an astonishing object that bears a striking resemblance with a modern laptop or some handheld device with Syrian ports, but is described by the museum as a quote-unquote funeral art. In another picture taken by a random tourist from a better angle, we can see that the object is wide, but with a structure too narrow to be a jewel box, and it doesn't match the depictions of the mythic Pandora box either. But just so we are clear, I'm not saying that this was relief is depicting an ancient laptop computer, but when I look at that sculpture and think about Greek tales about the oracle at Delphi, which was supposed to allow the priests to quote-unquote, connect with the gods and retrieve advanced information of various aspects, I can't help myself but thinking that Eric Van Daniken has been right all this time and most of these myths of magical artifacts given by the gods to a very restricted group of individuals in ancient civilizations, were high-tech devices similar to what we have available today. That also makes me think on where the computer company Oracle and the programming language Delphi got their names from.